Hi, and welcome back to QSIS Network Training. And in this section of the training, we're going to be talking about remote monitoring and management using something called QSIS Reflect. Now, we talked earlier on about the general layout of a QSIS system and how the QSIS core is really the only thing that would need to connect to the outside world if you wanted remote monitoring and management. We're just gonna go into that in a little bit more detail here. Essentially what Reflect allows you to do is to use the cloud to access any system that you've been given permission to access. And that could be if you're in the, the AV world because you need to make little changes to it or actually maybe uh, fix a problem that's occurred, but also Many IT departments use the data from Reflect and incorporate that alongside their IT dashboard so that they can see IT and AV in the same space. Let's just talk about how Reflect really works and what it allows you to do. So we can see here, we have something called the Reflect organization, okay? So that would be maybe, maybe you're a hotel company, right? Like the world famous fake hotel chain. You might have the Los Angeles location and London and Paris, and these could all be different sites within your organization, okay? And you can see here a site has different systems within it. So what does all this mean? Well, essentially, locally what's happening is all of your QSIS peripherals and also your third-party devices that are part of that system, they're always reporting up to your QSIS core. So that's locally, that's the, the kind of boss of the system. It knows everything that's happening in that system. Then out onto the cloud, the systems, right, run by the core, they report up to the site level and then the sites are all aggregated in the organization. And not shown here, if you are from an AV managed services provider, for example, you can actually be a member of multiple organizations, multiple end users that you work with. And you can then see in your Reflect dashboard, all of those organizations and in each one, every single site and every single system and in the systems, the different peripherals, and then you can access all of that remotely just as if you were on site, okay? Uh, that's essentially how Reflect works. Now, it's really, really simple to set up, but we still need to just think about that outgoing cloud access thing. So. Here you can see the basic flow of data, and this has been designed to be as IT friendly as possible. So typically, uh, other kind of cloud-based AV management systems, they usually require you add an additional local server to aggregate the data, or they might require actually that a lot of the different peripherals all have an outgoing internet connection. Well, with QSIS, of course, we already have that local server, which is the core. Okay, so as I said, the peripherals report to the core. The core then sends things out to the Reflect Cloud. So we only need to have that single connection. And as we'll see later on in the training, we can have that be a different physical connection on a different network to our AV network if we want to do that. In terms of the actual communication that's happening, only the core is connecting. It's using HTTPS over port 443 as you'd expect. And the connections are outbound, so there's no sort of surprise incoming connection from the cloud. And WebSockets are what allow for real-time two-way communication, which allows you to have that remote commissioning kind of experience, like I said, almost as if you were actually locally on site. From an IT perspective, there's also an API. So with a single API call, you can go to the QSIS Reflect Cloud and get all the information about maybe just one site or one system, but actually you could get a huge amount of data about your whole organization's AV health and bring that into an IT dashboard, okay? Like maybe something like ServiceNow, for example. Now also, we wanna be talking about security here, okay? So security, I just wanna mention a few things that you see here. It's hosted on Google Cloud. It's in a United States data center, although it is moving into Microsoft Azure in the future. We do take daily snapshots stored locally and off-site. It's a multi-tenant system. There's a scalable architecture. But rather than me going into all the detail of this right here, what I'd like you to do is click on the link below. What you're going to see there is our QSIS security documentation, which is actually part of our wider QSIS online help file, which also contains all of the documentation about all things networking in QSIS. So have a look there at the general security story for QSIS Reflect and QSIS more broadly. And of course, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any specific questions around security with Reflect and with QSIS more broadly. That's the end of this section. Join me for the next one. 
and I'll see you there.